Hello and welcome to the video for this listing. It's the Sony HX80, which is a compact camera with an electronic viewfinder. I'll just run through the uh, extras that you get with this kit. Uh, for starters, a 16 gigabyte uh, SD card. It's the micro one that plugs into the adapter, which then slots into the camera. Uh, a carry case, which is a, a decent hard carry case with the Union flag on it. And if you're not a fan, I've always got some other soft ones. Uh, kicking around and that comes with a shoulder uh, strap as well, a lanyard. Um, the USB cable uh, to charge the camera, you'll see there's a little green, sorry, red light, amber light that comes on on the side. So the camera itself is equipped with a charging uh, circuit and whatever battery's in there will charge and then the light will go out when it's finished charging. And you do that via this uh, micro SD uh, micro SD USB uh, micro USB connector uh, and plug it into any 5 volt power supply and it's a retractable one which goes back into its case will it comply yes it will and then you just snap the uh, the top shut like so Oop, go in there anyway it does go in and the uh, SD card adapter if you haven't got an uh, SD card slot on a laptop but you have a USB slot, this will allow you to be able to plug your card into the PC. The tripod, it's a hammer one, which is a good make, it's brand new and it has metal bendy legs, but it also enables you to be able to film once it's screwed in and rotate the camera around to do selfies because it has got a flip screen, it does vlogging and selfies very well. And these two little devices are just for a phone, so you can plug it up put your phone in there as well and use this little Bluetooth key fob for doing selfie shutter work so those are handy and then on to the camera goodness me we'll get there eventually uh, there's the USB port there's a little LED light in there and that's the screen it's got hardly any markings to it some of this is just smudging where I've touched it so it's very very clean it's not 100% but it is very very clean. It's made of acrylic and it does just scratch the moment you look at it really. Um, that's why uh, it's best to invest in a screen protector for two or three quid. Uh, the screen flips up like so. And if I just turn the camera on, the lens will come out and then you can see me filming you at the moment. And uh, when I rotate it round, the screen comes down to the normal viewing angle. And if I just bring a little uh, model in, so telephoto, the lens extends and it is nice and firm and the glass itself is spot on perfect. The, has, the camera has digital zoom as well as 30 times optical, so uh, it's currently showing digital zoom. It will be reset when it's sent to you so you can start complete fresh, but you just basically point the camera at the subject and it does it automatically when you've got IA and then you can select program modes plenty of them to select uh, different types of photography portrait that sort of thing so it has a built-in flash it's a little sort of toaster eject jobby it comes up like so and then also I mean how they crammed all this in this camera is beyond me but uh, it has an electronic viewfinder you pull out the little uh, window and that gives you an electronic viewfinder if I just uh, well actually it does it automatically so maybe you might be able to see in there but uh, that is your electronic viewfinder it also has a dioptic control on the top to uh, adjust the um, focus of that uh, viewfinder now when you want to put it down make sure you push that in and then shut it down otherwise you will break it and the nifty little thing is it will turn the camera on <laughs> okay so it turns it on and turns it off as well so you if you basically just press the button you're straight into shoot mode uh, specifications 8.2 megapixels it has built-in uh, image stabilization it does video via the uh, dedicated record button there no touch screen on these but uh, that's no great shakes let's just turn it back on again show you the menu menu features and you just control that via the rotating wheel and the up and down buttons, north, south, east, west buttons. But there's plenty of buttons on there. And I did uh, take it out and do a couple of uh, shots. So you will see them. That was at full wide and full zoom. But bar for a couple of tiny little marks, this camera is a good, I should say, 9 out of 10, really. It's, uh, 
is not being used much at all. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye bye.